Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In my previous video of do you need an Ethernet switch, I talked about the LHY Audio SW8. It is a 8 port Ethernet switch and this was a hit on the market. This was sold um, to a thousand customers and they are pretty happy with the sound quality of this addition of Ethernet switch in their system. And in my second follow-up video of part 2, do you need an Ethernet switch? I introduced the SW10. Uh, the reason why we bring the SW10 to the market was customers who wanted SFP optical fiber port on their network, it is not possible with the SW8. You need to have an Ethernet switch with fiber optic SFP in order to use fiber network which is why the reason we bring or we brought the SW10 to the market and let me just put this aside and let me show you the SW10 uh, this is a pretty big switch so it comes with two fiber ports a, a two SFP port you may use a SFP with fiber optic connection to use mm, to these two ports right over here there are a lot of ports in the middle where you may connect to your network or your audio devices. It also comes with BNC clock connection input and output that allows you to synchronize with your devices that comes with clock input. And this is yet another hit on the market that is very very well received. And customer asks, I have an moderate audio system that do not require such a high-end switch. Do you have something in between the SW8 and SW10? This is what brings us to the video today. I'm going to unbox to you the new LHY Audio SW6 SFP switch. Again, let me just put this huge and pretty heavy substantial SW10 aside and start to unbox the SW6. Alright, this is the LHY Audio SW6 SFP. In short, I'm just going to call it SW6. This is how uh, the packaging looks like. It comes with double box when it is shipped to you. It comes with another outer box that is plainer looking, it's just cotton color. But as you unbox the outer box, this is what it looks like internally. This is an inner box. It's a pretty nice looking one. So LHY Audio improves their packaging with uh, a nice touch of design, which I like it quite a lot. And this says that it is a, there's a label here to say uh, it is a LHY Audio SW6 SFP Ethernet switch. And there are some parameters here to tell you um, the color. Um, there's only one color available right now, but we are requesting LHY Audio to have silver color and black color that suits the audio system better in the near future. But as of now, it comes with one uh, greenish color that is of the same color as the SF, SW8 and SW10. Some other parameter, it tells you the weight, the dimension, as well as um, it comes from China. It's made in China and we like working with LHY Audio because of its high quality build and sound quality. Right, without further ado, I'll just open this guy and show you what is inside. So again, a thick protective foam that protects the units from its journey to you or to us. Okay, lift this guy open and uh, we'll see the unit itself. It comes with a simple power cord, but um, audio file at this level might have their preferred power cord to use already. So if you do not want to use the stock or generic power cord that comes with the packaging, it is fine to use your own. Okay, this is the SW6. Um, uh, it's pretty nice packaging. It comes with a cutout to protect the unit from its journey to you. And this is how the unit looks like with the plastic film packaging protecting it. Okay, let me just peel this off. And we'll be able to see the SW6 in real life. It's made of same high quality chassis. Um, it's CNC mill and uh, I'm going to show it to you what it looks like internally and tell you what are the things that 
LHY audio did to this SW6. Right, let me just put the box aside. Oh, before I forget, it's gonna be a two part video. The first part is unboxing. The second part of the video, I'll be showing you the application of this SW6 and how you can integrate the SW6 in your system. It's a pretty small unit. Uh, this is what we have been asked or told by the customer they needed something in between the SW8 and SW10. SW10 is a little bulkier, it's, it's larger. Let me just uh, lift it up and give you a size comparison. Uh, this is the SW10, it's pretty substantial. And this is the SW6. As you can tell, the SW10 is a lot bigger than the SW6. But that doesn't mean the SW6 is um, inferior to, it, to that sense. But there are more things in SW10 which I will talk about it in the second part of this video. And this is how the SW6 looked like at the back. You spotted, uh, before I forget, I need my pointer. Right, you spot uh, an IEC inlet and this tells you, I'll uh, give you a hint of this unit comes with a linear power supply. So AC comes in here, there's a transformer to step down the, oh, I'll talk about it later when I show you what is inside, inside the SW6. But let me just go through the connection. There's a 10 megahertz clock input. There are four ports here, allows you to connect to your devices. There's another special port here. It is an isolated port. Again, I'll talk about it later. And there's this SFP port, allows you to have an SFP with fiber connection to plug into this SFP port. Right, let me just, I gotta do this quite often. I gotta move things around. So please bear with me. I have limited space here. This is the SW6 and for the form factor and it's lightweight, I really liking it. Right, let me just show you what is inside this unit with the help of my Allen key. There are six screws securing the bottom panel. I already have most of them removed, so you don't have to look at me to remove all the screws. All I need to do is to remove two screws and I will be able to pop this bottom cover out, just like that. Again, it's a pretty high quality, at least three mm thick anodized aluminum chassis. Let me just put it aside. And this is how the SW6 look like internally. Pretty amazing, isn't it? This is a full CNC milk aluminum brick with three compartments. Okay, let me just show you the show you the internal in this fashion. Uh, it's a pretty lightweight one. I can carry it using my one hand. Okay, AC inlets comes in from the power cord. There's this EMI filter here to filter the AC. This is the Talema step down transformer, AC transformer, to step down the 120 volt or 240 volt to a smaller AC here. There are rectifier circuitry here to rectify the AC to DC. So this is how a linear power supply works. There's always a transformer that looks like this. It can be this um, encapsulator one, or it can be all core, it can be toroid, or in the old days, there are some other type of transformer that is rarely seen in audio uh, industry anymore. But this is how the linear power supply works. AC is step down to DC and DC that's rectifier to rectify the AC to DC. And there's a bunch of um, capacitor and circuitry here that further regulate the DC voltage to the needed voltage for the Ethernet switch circuitry. You spotted three sets of um, high speed super regulator here that LHY Audio always uses. LHY Audio linear power supply or the internal built-in power supply is always measured to microvolt noise level. Microvolt is very small. The noise level of microvolt is 10 to the power of minus six. It is very, very, very low noise. And for that matter, LHY Audio always believe in using low noise, high speed linear power supply for all their equipment, including the built-in one, as well as the external power supply that LHY Audio offer. So you can be sure that the DC coming out from LHY Audio linear power supply or the built-in linear power supply circuitry is of microvolt noise level. That is 10 to the power of minus six 
It's a very, very low noise power supply and high speed. This power supply power up the OCXO. This is the oven control crystal oscillator that does its job to reclock the Ethernet signal. And there are some voltages here, the plus minus, sorry, not the plus, plus minus. It's a plus 3.3 volt as well as plus 1.3 volt for the Ethernet network switch. This Ethernet network switch is not, um, it's not typical Ethernet switch that you have seen on the market. Not D-Link, not Cisco, but this is a custom-made Ethernet module by LHY. So LHY Chief um, J, J Ho, developed this Ethernet switch with the requirement from us with several things that in incorporated in this Ethernet switch. One is the OCXO, the other one is the isolated Ethernet port. So you have spotted this small little metal casing here. There's an isolation transformer or a digital isolation transformer to isolate this Ethernet port from the circuitry with a dedicated set of voltage regulator to provide this Ethernet switch or the chip here the isolation from the noises that may happen internally or externally. And there's this SFP port here built into this Ethernet switch that allows us to have a small form factor Ethernet switch unmanaged with four ports plus one isolated port. So this is what we have been working with LHY Audio to release the SW6. Okay, so much for the, for the internal of the SW6. In my next video, I'm going to share with you how you can use the SW6 in your system and there are several combination or several, several uh, permutation that you can play around with the SW6 or the SW8 or SW10 or even other Ethernet switches that you might have already with the SW6. I know it's a little bit mouthful here. There are too many SW6, 8, 10 that I've talked about, but not to be confused, but this Ethernet switch is something in between the SW8 and SW10, and we thought this might be a sweet spot for a customer who wants to try fiber optic, as well as isolated port Ethernet connection, copper, in the audio system. All right, so much so for the part one video. I'm gonna take a part two video right after this video. Um, again, if you follow my channel, you know that all my videos are one shot, no editing, uh, partly because I do not have much time to edit the video and I do not know how to edit the video. So I'm gonna stop this video and I take a part two video after, right after this. Okay, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.